regularly scheduled. A hate crime bill in South Carolina is one step closer to becoming law. News 2's Katie Augustine joins us live from downtown Charleston. And Katie, at yesterday's meeting, the committee voted to change the name of the bill to the Clemente C. Pinckney Hate Crime Act. And you talked to some people about the significance of that. Brennan, that's right. This hate crime bill is in part a result of the tragic Mother Emanuel shooting that we know happened here in downtown Charleston back in 2015. Clemente C. Pinckney was the reverend of the church and he was one of the nine whose lives were taken. I spoke with the man who had to fill Pinckney's shoes about what this bill means for the congregation and for the state of South Carolina. Uh, reverend Pinckney paid the ultimate price. My heart continues to go out for his family. Uh, and I would hope and pray that this, by renaming the bill, that it gives a lasting legacy to such a giant of a man. The Emanuel Nine, the victims of the tragic Mother Emanuel shooting in Charleston in 2015, top of mind for state lawmakers as they work to pass a hate crime bill. South Carolina is one of only three states without comprehensive hate crime legislation. Living in South Carolina and, and knowing that we do not have a comprehensive hate crime bill on the books is kind of troubling, uh, especially when you begin to reflect upon what happened here almost six years ago. The bill being propelled through the state legislature would enhance the penalties for hate crimes. The list of protected classes includes race, religion, national origin and sex, among others. That's what we want to do here is we want to make a statement that as a community, we do not tolerate this type of crime. One amendment to the bill took out protections for the LGBTQ community, but at a House Judiciary Committee meeting, it was added back in. There isn't a single reason any citizen in this state should not feel safe or should feel like less of a person. And after the tragedy on June 17, 2015, safety is a priority for Mother Emanuel, and this bill would add a sense of security to the congregation. It would mean the world to us. The bill passed through the Judiciary Committee yesterday and it's now expected to be heard on the State House of Representatives floor by April 10th. Live in downtown Charleston, I'm Katie Augustine. Count on two.